Hi. Today I'd like to discuss the importance of freeze frame data. Sometimes that and a little knowledge is more important than actually the codes. I have a 2011 6.7 that stalled while driving. We had the check engine light on and I went ahead and pulled the codes. So now here we have the codes and there to the right is an explanation of what's going on. So we have the diesel particulate filter over temp bank one. We have another one here for the temperature on bank one. Same thing here with a circuit intermittent fault, but we still don't know which one. And here's a code that can actually help us and get us to start going in some direction. But it tells us sensor three. The 6.7 has four temperature sensors and the fourth one is the exit one. And as far as I know, and this is only my um, hunch and my guess, but whenever they stall, it's always the fourth, the exit one, that will shut it down when it sees an over temp. So now if we go to the freeze frame data and look at it, and if we scroll down here and we look at them, we can see our exhaust gas temperature one, 700, two is 700, and three, 700. But number four, the exit one, we have an open circuit. Pretty much when they go open, that's what we we'll start to see. So anyhow, you look for the big difference here, and you can see that we. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace number four, clear the codes, reset the tables, and check this one out. But again, this is just trying to, what I'm trying to explain here is the importance of looking at freeze frame data. You always want to check it, even if it's just to get the parameters for the last time that it was set. So when you're on your road test, you can try to duplicate the situation that it was set last time and um, do a more thorough road test that way. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the uh, sensor and give this one a road test. I'm going to replace the number four, the exit one. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, this is the number four exhaust temp sensor on the 6.7. Remember again, the 6.7 has four of them and the 6.4 has three of them. And it's pretty much straightforward. I already have this one in. Didn't have any troubles on this one. Came right out. Just screwed in there. Plug it in up here. And then we'll go ahead and reset the tables, clear the codes, road test it, monitor the temp sensor, and hopefully he's down the road. Now, one thing I do want to say is make sure and check for contamination, that his oil's not overfilled, that we don't have any coolant leak or any fluid loss. So you know, don't just throw a part at it. Go ahead and keep on doing the visual and look for any fluids or any other issues. This one came out and it looked pretty clean, so I don't suspect it. But still, do them right and check it all out. Okay, I took this one out on a road test and gave it a pretty good uh, run there. Drove it for probably 10, 15 miles while monitoring the exhaust temps. They all stayed in specs and were pretty consistent with what I'd expect. So. I guess on this one, the best thing to learn is make sure you look at freeze frame data too. Don't just look at a code and just start following it. A little bit of knowledge and with the um, uh, checking the history out on it would help you out on this one or on any of them. Always check freeze frame data if available. Thank you.